On March 25th, 2023, Mars is finally changing signs. It's been in Gemini for seven months now since August because of the whole retrograde season that happened from September 3rd through March 15th because Mars, um, there was a pre-shadow and then a retrograde phase and post-shadow that we've just ended. Um, and we're almost 10 days out of that, but Mars was in the sign of Gemini for an extended period of time because of that retrograde season and the retrograde phase was from October 30th through January 12th of 2023, uh, October 30th, 2022, through so January 12th of this year. Um, and now it's coming to an end. So we've been working with this uh, Mars and Gemini, really, you know, wanting to be flexible and adaptable, um, get our way through, you know, communication, engaging, um, such things as, um, you know, speaking, um, you know, thinking, writing, um, all those kinds of things. And, um, and the themes that I discussed on my video on Mars, um, the whole Mars retrograde season in Gemini. I had a video for Mars in Gemini, which you can go watch to sort of review that time period and, and look back on it because now it's coming to an end and we can reflect and and you know tie up those loose ends but we can also move on mars is moving into a new sign it's moving into a new part of the sky and that's what i'm going to be discussing here so mars enters cancer on march 20th it leaves cancer on may 20th it enters leo um which I believe Mars and Leo is going to be a part of a fixed um, Grand Cross or T-square in the middle of May um, of this year, so a couple months. And then Mars will move into Leo on May 20th, which is a really strong placement about courage and, um, you know, shining your light. And uh, I may discuss what that means and what it indicates and the qualities of that transit when we get there. But for now, Mars is in Cancer. And it's important to look to where you can find planets or points in the cardinal signs, which would be Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. And you're going to want to look to where of the degree of that, uh, of those cardinal placements, if you have any planets, um, you know, the personal planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, um, middle planets, Jupiter, Saturn, the outer planets, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and then the luminaries, your sun and moon, or points, the ascendant, the midheaven, the nodes of the moon. You're going to want to look to see where the degree is at of those planets or points because Mars is going to impact you in some way or another if you have planets or points and those cardinal signs either through a sextile um, if, um, you know, and this doesn't have to be just cardinal signs but just, you know, transits in general, you know, a sextile when planets, you know, let's say we have one planet in a water sign, one planet in an earth sign, that would be a sextile. Um, they wouldn't be opposite one another or the same sign. So Cancer and Taurus would sextile each other. Or we could say a trine. So, um, you know, and I'll get into that. But anyway, um, planets are points in the cardinal signs. Uh, and what degree um, those planets or points are at, because Mars is going to hit that degree and, um, and you know, affect you in that way. And, you know, this is important to know and you know, consider during this time. And also, 
um, you, you know, the water signs, too. Um, the other two water signs, Pisces and Scorpio. Um, and Mars is going to try whatever planet's um, planet or point is in that um, water sign. Um, so, you know, it just depends. Um, you know, sex styles again. So, um, Taurus and Virgo with sex style, Cancer. Um, trines um, when it comes to cancer um, are signs in the same element. So whenever a planet is in the same element as another planet, it, if it would, you know, make an aspect, it would be uh, a trine. So or as in cancer, you have something in Scorpio and Pisces that would trine um, an opposition. If you have a planet or point in Capricorn, the opposite sign to cancer, um, or, um, you know, any planets in Cancer would make for a conjunction, or um, it would be a square, which is, um, you know, 90 degrees. And if you have any planet or point in the signs of Aries and Libra, then Mars and Cancer would square that planet or point, which is not easy, a conversation of tension, but there's ultimate evolution and growth and pushing forward and making something happen due to that tension and not sitting stagnant on it, but actually, you know, picking up and, um, you know, making room for change and, um, you know, acting on something that's, you know, the benefit of that, you know, uncomfortable energy of a um, squares to sort of go through that, um, you know, motion of life that and it can be hard but we can gain a lot and you know we can achieve a lot from that square energy which is um and there's attention to it so and that's what i'm going to say to that so now let's get into mars and cancer so um the first thing to note is if you were to put placements in you know a sort of pecking order of not best and worst, but easier and more difficult. Mars rules Aries. And um, and so this would be, um, Mars would be in its ruling sign. Um, so it would express its qualities um, the easiest. Um, Mars and Libra is detriment. Um, it's in its detriment because Libra is opposite Aries uh, and Mars does not rule Libra. Um, so, you know, that's that whole story. Mars is exalted in Capricorn, but Mars is at its fall in Cancer. And so Mars is um, assertive energy. It is male energy. It is what you do when you wake up in the morning. It propels and makes us so that we can move our lives in a positive direction. It looks at, um, you know, momentum. Um, it takes a look at progress, um, you know, you know, building ourselves. Um, you know, it also deals with, you know, muscles and um, working out. And, you know, is that Mars um, would, you know, really be a shade and where is the energy at because Mars brings the energy, um, the sort of gas that you fuel up your car with. And so Mars in Cancer, uh, Mars is, you know, wants to fight and wants to be assertive, but then Cancer is a feminine energy that wants to go inside and be more introverted and um, wants to um, be at home. And so, you know, at best with this transit, you can find that your loyalty to your clan or, well, family is stronger during this time. And this is a time where it's great to tend to your nest, um, you know, take care of your family, um, you know, fighting for your family and really taking action and being assertive. Um, when it comes to spending time with your family and initiating something new in your family, like a new trip that you want to go on, or moving to a new house, or 
um, you know, something like that. You know, maybe, you know, decorating your home, um, fixing a drain pipe. Maybe it is, um, you know, making a, um, you know, renovation or, you know, innovation in your home or, you know, deciding to start out this new meal plan. Anything that you want to initiate that deals with the Cancerian themes of home and family and also um, nourishment, because that's another thing that Cancer has to do with. And, and, um, and Mars is also um, sort of astrologically, you know, they say Mars isn't, you know, as if we were to personify happy, you know, in Libra. Um, but, um, you know, I don't, I don't believe that some planetary placements are above others. But, you know, I just want to bring in that there was this system, uh, there was this sort of concept that I found out about a year ago called, um, I think it's my plate, where you have a balanced um, meal and cancer deals with food and it's about what you put in your body and how you want to nourish and feed and take care of your body and you know let's get real that Mars is sort of a tough um, you know energy that you know let's um, face reality and you know go after something and and so there's a difference between nurturing and coddling and so maybe we can take a closer look at that with mars and cancer how we can um nurture and nourish others you know through you know providing for you know, your physical needs if we were to look at the whole kind of pyramid of needs um, and also we can nourish and nurture others on the emotional level as well being more you know mentally and emotionally um, available for them um, and um, yeah this is a time where we can be assertive um, with that so you know loyalty when it comes to family Mars rules of how you defend yourself you know and how you um, react and stand up for yourself so there's a strong need to protect those whom you love um, that's ultimately what this um, comes down to, and cancer is symbolized by the crab, and that tough outer shell makes for something which is very resilient, because um, cancer is, you know, really kind of, you know, squishy and inside, but, you know, that tough shell and this pinchers to the crab, so when the cancer is threatened or attacked, and the pinchers can, you know, come out and, um, you know, bite you. But you know, now it's really, we're taking action towards building a sanctuary, building a, um, a home, basically. And, you know, the idea of the mama bear, um, come, you know, is, you know, related to this. Um, and also Mars is action. We can act based off of our emotions, um, what we feel, you know, moving, um, towards something we want to go after this because, you know, we want to, um, you know, we feel really strongly that this is right. We feel the, you know, desire and calling to do this, or we can base it off of our intuition or instincts and really listen to our gut instinct of what feels right and taking action based off of that. And Saturn's in Pisces, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. And it's time where we can go to the intuition gem with Mars and Cancer. We can strengthen our intuition since um, its influence is more prominent to us since Mars is a pers personal planet and it's closer to the Earth. Um, we can, um, you know really follow our um, gut and intuition. Um, and, you know, cancer doesn't like to jump into things. It's, you know, we can scan the situation out before we just jump into it. Like, is this okay? Is all the circumstances or conditions or criteria met? Is everything going to go to plan? Are all the boxes checked off before we jump into something and take action? Um, and is this going to um, 
emotionally nourish us? Is this going to really be worth it for us? Is this going to serve us or soothe us? Um, or, um, yeah. Um, and, um, you know, this is where, you know, we can settle down, you know, it's, it's a great time to, you know, focus on your home and finding comfort in that, um, you know, environment about needing, you know, a sanctuary where we can feel taken care of and where we can in turn take care of others because it's both and the giving and receiving. And um, that's what the focus is about. It really relates to the fourth house of home and family and your roots. Um, you know, where we can take action to connect with family and our roots and to build those uh, emotional foundations and structures for ourselves. Because cancer deals with being taken care of and deals with those innate, um, you know, human kind of, you know, instinctual needs. Uh, they need to be met for us to feel comfortable and, um, you know, home inside ourselves in our own skin. And, and cancer rules the moon and it does deal with nourishment and, um, you know, um, taking care of ourselves and our emotions. And cancer is water, deals with emotions, it's a very emotional sign. So the aspects going on, you know, there's a couple of things happening during this whole transit, the first thing is Mars trining Saturn. Now, we've had this happen a couple of times, September 28, 2022, and November 28, 2022. Mars was in Cancer, uh, Mars was in Gemini, and Saturn was in Aquarius, but now Mars is in Cancer, and Saturn's in Pisces. And so, now Mars is going to try and Saturn in Pisces. And, you know, we can, this is a time to get work done, to get something off the ground, to achieve something, and to be, and to be uh, determined and disciplined and focus on our goal. Because Saturn is, you know, goals and structures, and it's about really, you know, doing the hard tasks and um you know we can have the you know courage to um, you know to do those kinds of things um you know and getting serious about a goal that you want to achieve or um any kind of you know foundation or structure that needs to be set in place for a relationship for example that can this can be a good time for that now uh, and we can manifest our goals into reality. Mars sextile Uranus, April 29th. This is happening on April 29th. And this is about um, Mar you know, Uranus's um, freedom. It deals with shocks of insight, revelation. Um, it deals with not wanting to follow the crowd, wanting to move away, wanting to choose our own path. So this is a freedom to act on your desires and try something new and to have fun in the process about something liberating, of something, um, you know, maybe, you know, an adrenaline, um, you know, activity that gets your adrenaline going like um, racing or <laughs> something. But uh, anything really um, that is new and fun and um, exciting that you want to try. Um, great time to, you know, go on a roller coaster or, um, you know, dress in a new way or, um, or learn something new or go travel somewhere new. Um, and, you know, taking a risk of this is an energy that is a positive as aspect because we're talking about a sextile. And now we can take a risk because both of these planets deal with risk-taking and taking a chance. So we can do something that, you know, we can move ourselves beyond our fears and do something that we wouldn't probably otherwise consider doing. But now we have the strength and we feel a sense of empowerment to um, do it and to go in that direction and, 
and and do this activity and meet this person and um, all those kind of things and you know it's not a time to limit yourself and you know be free or be be in fear and be in a state of um you know victimhood and stay small it's a time to break out of the routines um, and um assertively try something new it's a masculine energy and then on May 14th, Mars will try Neptune in Pisces. So this is a desire to act based off of a feeling of compassion and kindness, where you really, um, you know, care for others. Um, and you're, you know, acting as sort of, you know, spiritual service acts would be great at this time, or um, uplifting somebody, um, empowering somebody. Um, you know, taking care of someone, um, you know, being there, connecting on a soul level with someone, um, really being emotionally available, even having a conversation or um, doing an activity with that person, getting to know them um, at a deeper level, um, to also engage in a spiritual activity or a spiritual practice. Um, you know, oracle cards, journaling, all those kinds of things, and also to um to uh well you know to do something you know creative um you know because neptune rules creativity and it rules over the imagination and what is abstract and what is not you know in reality so doing something like you know reading um you know a novel or um, you know writing something or watching a film or you know playing a um, you know, video game or something, or or um, painting or singing. Um, all these activities would be, you know, really favorable. And Mars also deals with conflict, and with this energy, we can also um, be kind and compassionate, and, and we can see the different sides of an argument. We can see the different perspectives, and and, you know, honor and respect people's perspective and, you know, be assertive without being aggressive and fight for what we need or want while considering other people's needs and feelings and, and, um, and you know, perspectives and sort of, you know, viewpoints um, in the process um, where we're balancing what we want and what we desire with... Um, you know, the needs, wants, and desires of others and we're um, approaching it, approaching um, conflict or negotiation or something um, and getting out into the world and achieving what we want to achieve with diplomacy and, again, with compassion because it's Neptune and empathy as well. So this is this transit. I really hope that you enjoy this Mars and Cancer energy. And thank you for tuning in. It will be a wonderful transit. Bye for now.